Hello everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. I don't know where you're watching me from. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Happy Sunday to everyone. If you have entered Sunday or you have passed Sunday or you are entering Sunday, I wish you the best of this day. Whatever you plan to do this day, you will achieve all of them in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you so much for coming in. And if you come in, please let me know if you can hear me. Just type, say something so that I know you are hearing me clearly. So as we are waiting for people to come in, I will be introducing the topic we are going to be discussing today. Today, we are going to be talking about unclogging our arteries because I have done some videos on this topic recently. And now I want to talk a little bit more about how you can clog your arteries, what and what you can eat that will help your arteries to be free, to be clean, to remove those things blocking the arteries. So that is what we are going to be discussing today. I'm going to talk about few things that you can be eating to help to unclog the arteries. You know, sometimes we are feeling somehow in our system, we don't know exactly what the problem is but not knowing that it might be our arteries that are clogged. You know, if you're having that uh, heart issues, having an uh, irregular heartbeat, and you're experiencing that your cholesterol is high, you're feeling weak, tired, feeling fatigued all the time, you really need to eat food that will help to unclog your arteries, to clean your arteries. Because when you're Arteries are blocked, are, are dirty, clogged with, you know, there are some food. Clogging of the arteries, things that always clog these arteries are some of the food that we ate which did not digest well, some fatty food that we ate that did not digest well and they will just clog the arteries, making your blood not to be flowing as it's supposed to flow. Because when your blood is finding it difficult to flow freely, it's, you're going to start feeling uh, somehow about how your heart is beating or your blood pressure will start to get to increase or your cholesterol levels will try to increase. We all suffer that once in a while in our lives, but if you don't really know how to go about it or what and what you can eat to help unclog the arteries, you can have a look or try some of the things I'm going to talk about in today's video so that it will help you and one thing i also want to say here is sometimes if you try something or if you eat something and you did not get the result immediately that means there are a lot of days you have to continue to try it because sometimes we try things once and it didn't work out and we get tired of it and said this is not for me it's not working for me not knowing that that problem has been there for a very long time you just really need to have patience when it has to be do with taking care of your body naturally doing things at home you really need to have patience because you accumulated those fat or those things couple of months so you really need to try it give you some time before you can be able to you know get a good result so what we are going to be talking about today is some food that you can be eating to help unclog your arteries thank you so much chi chi faith for joining us thank you so much um renate hinsen Thank you so much. And thank you, Zam Zam, for joining us. You can hear me, I believe so. You can hear me, I think so. But if you cannot hear me, please let me know. So I wouldn't want this video to be a long one. So I'm going to go into the food that you can be eating or herbs or different kinds of things that you can be eating or doing so that, you're, so that you can unclog and clean your arteries 
naturally at home. There are a lot of things we can do on our own. There are a lot of steps. There are a lot of things we can help ourselves. We can help our body to do. We don't allow, you know, our body to do a lot when we know that we are not helping the body to do that a lot. I don't even understand what I mean. So the thing that goes into our, into our mouth has a lot to say about our life, our the way we feel, our day-to-day -day activities. Because if you do not eat well and you always seek, you might not be able to achieve what you really want to achieve in life. So today I'm going to be talking about the food and the first kind of food. I might not be able to list out one the food one by one, but <clears throat> I will be talking about them in different types, as in, in I, I, I put it in categories. So the first category of food that you have to be eating to help unclog your arteries, to help your arteries, to help your blood, to help the blood to be flowing well in your arteries. In case if you see me look this way, that's where I put the, <laughs> the things I jot down. The, the first kind of food you have to be eating is fiber rich food eat more of fiber food i used to say this all the time eating more of fiber food really helps a lot in our body it helps our system it helps our organs to function very very well for us somebody will say fiber 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 yes there are different kinds of fiber there are two types of fiber there are soluble fiber and there are insoluble fiber and what you really need to eat to help unclog those arteries are the soluble fibers. Soluble fibers, you find them in fruit and vegetables. You find them in fruit and vegetables. You have to eat lots of fruit, lots of vegetables. That is what your body really needs if you want to feel better, if you really want to reduce your cholesterol, if you want to reduce your sugar level, eat more of veggies. Eat more of veggies. They are going to help to bring down your, your, your sugar level. And you also have to eat beans. Those are the fiber-rich food that will help to control your uh, cholesterol, that will also help to control your sugar level and your blood pressure. So all these things contribute to making your arteries to be clogged. Or when your arteries are clogged, this uh, or clogged arteries are contributing to you experiencing all those kind of issues. If you come to um, fiber-rich food, I will I will just if you if, I will just mention few. Oatmeal, oatmeal is very good to control your cholesterol level, your sugar level, your blood pressure. To continue, it's also good for your heart oatmeal is good for your heart it's good to make your arteries to to make blood flow fl freely in your arteries because it's not they're not going to clog your arteries and when you got i also talk about i also mention here nuts almond nuts all those different kinds of nuts use them as a snack they are they, they are rich in fiber avocado is also good for your for bringing down your cholesterol level is 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 fat but it's a good fat it's not the fat it's not the bad side of fat that will increase your cholesterol it's going to normalize and reduce the bad cholesterol when you eat good fat some people say you but you're talking of like olive oil is a good fat but it doesn't clog your arteries when you eat good fat, it doesn't clog your arteries. It doesn't raise your 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 cholesterol level. Instead, they go and normalize the cholesterol. So you also have to be eating apples, pears, uh, cauliflower, all those uh, cruciferous vegetables. They are very good to bring down your cholesterol level. They are good to control your sugar level. They are good for your system your, they are good for the blood pressure you need to eat this kind of food which are rich in fiber that are going to help to control your cholesterol your sugar level your blood pressure 
and by so doing, your heart the heart will be functioning very well. Beans, I have said of beans, beans are good, different kinds of beans, kidney beans, white beans, um, um black eye beans, all those things, especially if you have high blood pressure, black eye beans is good for you. Black eye beans is good for controlling blood, um, uh, high blood pressure. So the first, the first category of food that you have to be eating to be able to control your uh, cholesterol level to make your arteries not to be clogging, to be blocked is fiber rich food. That is number one. And the second food, which is a hell, but does wonderful things. I've used this particular, I've used this particular herb in many of my videos. I use it in many of my videos and this herb works wonders in our body. And that herb is, and that herb is garlic. This, this thing, this thing I'm holding here works so well, works wonders. I cannot stay in this house without having garlic. Garlic, yes, people say it smells. When you eat it, it smells. But when you are suffering from something that is keeping you uncomfortable, making you to feel bad, you wouldn't even remember that garlic is smelling because you really need to take care of your body. Garlic is one herb, one food that unclog arteries like no man business. It opens every block arteries. Garlic works so wonderful. If you are, if you can be able to eat in, to be eating one garlic a day, one garlic a day, you are good to go about arteries. They are going to keep your arteries clean. I know it's hard, even me saying it here. I tried it. It was hard for me to chew one garlic, but I am finding different ways I can be putting garlic in my food. You can use powder one, you can use, a, you can roast it, you can do this, but if you really want a faster result, go for fresh garlic. <laughs> it's very hard to chew it, it's very hard to eat this raw because your mouth will be burning. Even when you swallow it, your stomach will be on fire. But it works wonders. Even with the, the ones I tried, I tried, I closed my eyes and I tried them. I got wonderful results. So if you are in the position of unclogging your arteries faster, eat garlic. Eat garlic. Eat garlic. In any way you can eat it, eat garlic. Chew it fresh, roast it, but roasting it, you have lost some uh, effectiveness of garlic if you roast it. If you if you blend it, you can, the way I normally do it, if I really want to eat it or I cannot chew it fresh is by adding it in my smoothies or adding it in my juice. So I'm still eating it fresh if I can add it in my smoothies. But when you are able to chew it alone directly, you will get a faster result. But at least in any way you can use it, use it in your food and you're going to benefit a lot from it. From it. Garlic has been used for years. Our forefathers used garlic. Our mother's fathers used garlic. And we are also using garlic now. And we have seen a lot of benefit from using garlic. Garlic is very, very effective in unclogging the arteries. It is also good to bring down your cholesterol level. Because when your cholesterol level, when your cholesterol is very high, that means you're having that problem of clogged arteries. If you're uh, having that cardiovascular issues, your heart is not doing pumping well, pumping blood well, or the blood is not flowing how it's supposed to flow in those arteries. That means you need garlic. You need garlic in your body. You need to unclog those arteries, clean those arteries with garlic. Garlic helps a lot. It helps a lot in 
fighting lots of diseases in our body. You might be taking it for one thing and it's doing many things in your body. So I recommend you today, if you're if you're having high blood pressure, I have it, I have many videos, I have some videos on my channel on how you can use garlic to bring down your blood pressure immediately. As in immediately. You drink it, you check your blood pressure before you drink it. The, the video, the video, I have the video in this channel. I will link it on this particular video so that you will go and watch it. You drink it. I measured my blood pressure before I drank that that juice I made on that video. And after it, I checked my blood pressure and my blood, my, my blood pressure reduced drastically. So garlic work a lot of wonders in the body. So if you have not been using garlic, I, I urge you use garlic to bring down blood pressure, to reduce your uh, cholesterol level, to bring down your sugar level, to be able to make those arteries to be clean and be free for the blood to flow through it freely. And that is our second kind of food that you have to be eating to unclog arteries, to bring down your blood pressure, to reduce your cholesterol level, and to make your system to work effectively for you. Please, if you don't have garlic in your in your house today, go get go get garlic. Go get garlic. Go get garlic. Your body really needs garlic. And the next kind of food that we have to be eating to be able to clean our arteries, to be able to bring down the cholesterol level is flat seed. I know recently I have done few videos using flax seed. This is my bottle of flax seed. It's always full. This is the quantity that is remaining. I know you cannot see it clearly, but it's about it's about here. I know I, I many many of us know what is know what is a flax seed. It's very tiny brown seed. It's not very tiny because I know there are many, there are other tinier seed than flax seed. Like chia seed is tinier. Um, what's the name of that? The other one is also mustard seed is tiny. So, but flax seed is one seed that you also need to unclog the arteries. To bring down your cholesterol level, you need flax seed. You know what? I know many people. Will, Speak more of fish oil. Fish oil is equivalent of flaxseed. What fish oil can give you, flaxseed is here to provide them for you. These tiny seeds, they have wonderful, wonderful omega-3 fatty acid that your body needs to clean your arteries, to bring down your, your, your cholesterol level. If you don't have, if you don't add flaxseed, the, the way I eat flaxseed is by adding them in my smoothies or adding grinded one in my oatmeal. The, these are the two major places I add flaxseed. I add them in my oats, in my oatmeal, and, and I add them in my smoothies. Sometimes if I am doing, um, um, what do you call it? K uh, what the, what's the name of that food I do? Dutch and the Germans call it Frankopen pancakes. <laughs> like when I'm doing my pancakes, also I add them in my pancake. I blend them with the oats, and I will do use it and do my pancake. And my pancake, I don't use, I don't use flour. I use oat flour for my pancake. So I add them also in my pancake. There are many ways you can add this. If you're a lover of a lover of cake, you can be adding them in your cake. To make that cake, to make that cake, what am I calling? To make that cake a little bit healthier for your body. Flax seed is very good for a healthy heart. Flax seed is very good for a healthy heart. Please get this flax seed if it is within your reach. It's not even all that expensive. This particular seed is not all that expensive. If you're where you can get the flax seed, get it. Because not all of us can get that fish oil capsule, or not, not all of us are eating lots of fish 
to be able to get the quantity of omega-3 that our body needs. So if you can be, you know, adding up, adding with um, flaxseed to that fish that you eat, you are sure that you're getting up to the level of the omega-3 that your body needs. We all need to add this healthy food in our diet, in our food, because they are good for us. And it has also lots of fiber. It has fiber that will also help to control your sugar level and also bring down your cholesterol level. Manage your, or your blood pressure. Flax seed is one seed. I will tell you from now to tomorrow to get it. Get flax seed. Get it, get it, add it in your smoothies. That is the easiest way you can eat flax seed. A tablespoon of flax seed in a day goes a long way for your body, it goes a long way for your heart, it goes a long way for your cholesterol, it goes a long way in bringing your, your system to a better level. Flax seed is, is awesome. It's awesome in helping to unclog your arteries. And it is also good for your digestive organs. It works so well because it also has, like I said, it has lots of fiber. I know in my in most of my videos, I have said that you should eat more of fiber if you are always constipated. Because fiber helps to push out the waste product out of your body. If you are a lover of meat, you eat lots of meat and you're always constipated, you always continue to feel it. You always continue to be constipated. But when you eat more of fiber-rich food, you are sure that your body is working well. You will be removing those things. <laughs> You'll be removing those things that are not meant to be in your body. And you'll be free. Your bow, you'll be having that free bow movement. Eat more of fiber. We know we don't let not your diet be, be, be depending on meat. Meat, meat, meat. Because meat takes lots of time to digest in our body. Our system, it takes much time for our system to digest meat. But it takes little time for our system to digest plant food, as in plant-based food. That's why you see many people are going vegan. Many people are going eating vegan food. Many people are eating more of vegetarian food these days. Many people are reducing the way they eat meat because they wouldn't want to stress their system of doing much work. So if you are a lover of meat, and you don't eat fruit and vegetables, please, 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 my people, please, please, my darlings, please reduce your meat consumption and increase your fruit and vegetables consumption because you will have lots of benefit from them. I know it's not easy to get rid of something that you like eating. I'm not saying you should get rid of it, but Eat less of it and eat more of fruit and vegetables because it you benefit more from eating those kind of food. So if you have been watching me up to this moment, please, can I know where you're watching me from? At least let me know who and who that are watching and where you're watching me from. And thank you for joining me in today's uh, live stream. And the next kind of food or the next food that is good to reduce cholesterol, unclog your arteries, clean those blocked arteries. You know what what block what block those arteries because of the kind of fat that we eat, because of the kind of food that we eat that did not digest, that did not it went and they clogged the it blocked the way of the of the blood to flow. And when that happens, you start having heart issues, irregular heartbeats, blood pressure will, will start rising and your cholesterol levels will continue to rise and you will start feeling not good. You won't feel good when you're having a blocked artery, when, you are blo when your arteries are blocked. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Patricia Dixon. Dixon from Maryland, and thank you so much, Uncooked Bacon, 
watching me from USA. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all for joining us in today's live stream. Thank you. Oh, from Virginia. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And the next kind of food that is good for unclogging the arteries. You know, this clogging of arteries, some people might say my arteries are not clogged. My, um, my arteries are free. The blood is flowing smoothly. But if you're suffering from heart issues, if your cholesterol level is high and your your feeling you're having your blood pressures are going up you really need to check what you eat you really need to control what you eat you really need to take care of what goes into your mouth because those things contribute a lot to how you feel the next food that is good also for cleaning and unclogging the arteries is fish yes i know i have talked about uh, flaxseed flaxseed and fish give you similar result or similar benefit if you can be eating these two things your heart will be your heart will thank you for feeding it with right food eat fish drink red wine red wine i mean i didn't say you should i didn't i didn't say you should swim in it eat red wine because red wine is made from grapes so if you if you have to eat grapes grapes are good for the heart grapes are good to control your your sugar or cholesterol level but if you are but if you cannot find i know many many countries might not be able to find grape real grapes are then raw grapes I don't know how to say it. then you can be drinking red wine but don't drink red wine more than two glasses as in two cups in a day it remember it has alcohol but you don't have to drink more of it but it has that beneficial effect on your arteries they help to unclog the arteries they help to improve the heart health and the cholesterol it helps to normalize your cholesterol level it helps you to feel better with your heart it also helps you to, you know, like I said, with your heart, it also helps you to protect your heart from having heart problems. So eat more of fish. Fish is packed with omega-3 fatty acids, which is excellent, which is good for heart health. Fish like salmon, um, uh, uh, sardine, mackerel, all those fish are good for the heart. So eating fish, like I said, instead of increasing the quantity of meat that you eat, why not replace those meat with fish? I know many people don't like eating fish, but fish is good for the body, especially if you're aging. If you're, or if your age is if you're going high in age, if you're increasing in age, you really need to reduce your, your meat consumption because your system, your organs have really worked for years. They might not be all that strong to digest those quantity of meat that you're consuming because meat takes six hours Take six hours. How do I how do I say it? <laughs> Take six hours for your body to digest it. So you wouldn't want to stress your body eating heavy meat, high quantity of meat all the time. So reduce your meat consumption and try to replace it with fish, healthy fish. And you're going to notice lots of difference lots of you know, positive changes in your body because you have you have deleted something or you have reduced some things that you have been eating that has been giving your body stress <coughs> stressing your body making your body not to work as you want it to be reduce your meat consumption and eat more of fish and eat more of grapes or red wine those has positive effect on your arteries on your cholesterol cleaning the arteries and all that
Thank you so much, Renate Hinton. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Ini from Botswana. Thank you, Abdul Rauf. Thank you, Andrive Williams from Miami. I appreciate you all for joining us in today's live stream. And the last and my last kind of food that we have to add to our diet to help unclog our arteries is a herb, is a flowering herb. Yes, it's a flowering herb. It is good for unclogging the arteries, it's good for cleaning the liver, it's good for controlling, you know, bringing down your sugar, your cholesterol level. It's also good for bringing down your blood pressure is milk tester. This is what milk tester looks like. This is the flower of the milk. This is what milk tester is. In case if you don't know what it is, this is the one. This is the one I take. I take it in herb. I take it in the leaf. So you can take it in the leaf. You can take it in capsule. You can take it like the one I have is the one in capsule. I take this once in a day, just one in a day, and you're helping your your liver to do to do the job while you are eating healthy. Because you really want to be who you want to be by giving your body the kind of food it really needs. You know that saying that says you are what you eat. What goes into your mouth is how you're going to look. If you eat more of fatty food, you are going to experience those experience those clogged arteries but if you eat healthy fat if you eat healthy fat you're going to experience you're going to have a good feeling i don't know if people feel the way i feel if i eat something that my body my, my that i am guilty of or i feel guilty of i don't feel good my mind will be telling me I have given my body wrong food. I am not going. And my mind will be just be there. And my mind is there and I will not feel good. But if I eat food that I know, that I know that, oh, this is good food for my body, I will go to bed and I will sleep and have a good sleep. But if you eat all those fatty food, you feel bad, your heart will be beating up normally, your cholesterol level will be high, your blood pressure will go up. You know, all those things are not exactly how we are supposed to feel if you really want to have a healthy life. Make this so it's good for the organs, the health in cleaning the organs, helping the organs to detox, you know, remove those, um, those things that are stuck there that are not making the organs to function well. Remember, you have to take care of this body. This is all you got. This body is all you got. You have to really, you have to really take care of it because you are what you eat. If you eat well, you feel well. If you don't eat well, you'll be feeling sick. You'll be feeling sick. All we are doing is to, to try as much as we can to feel better, to feel good, to look better. Because if you think you are eating well, check what you eat. Because sometimes what we eat and we call it that is eating healthy or we are eating well might not be what our body needs. It might not be what our body needs. So study more. If you really want to look healthy, if you really want to feel better, Check what goes into your mouth. Check what goes into your mouth because whatever that goes into here must reflect positively or negatively to your body. So thank you so much. That is what I have come to share with you today on how you can unclog your arteries, food that will help you to unclog your arteries. I have some videos in this channel that I have done different recipes that you can drink or you can use to help unclog your arteries, to clean your arteries. Let me also mention <clears throat> some food which 
I have reused in some of my videos, which are very, very good in unclogging the arteries. Apple cider vinegar, they are good in unclogging the arteries. Ginger is good in unclogging the arteries. Garlic, I have said much about garlic in this live video. It's very, very amazing. It's very, very good in, clog in unclogging the arteries. You also, you also be needing, um, you also be needing, onions is also good. <clears throat> onions is also good in unclogging arteries. That's why you have to be adding onions. If you can also be eating fresh onions, that will also help you a lot in unclogging your arteries. Honey is also good, especially if you want to eat the garlic. There's a video I did. If you want to eat the garlic and you want to be able to swallow the garlic or eat it raw, then combine it with honey. You can mash one garlic, mash one garlic, add it with a teaspoon of honey, mix it, chew it, swallow it. It is going to feel, feel much better than eating that only garlic alone. I tried it. I feel better when I add it with with a honey than adding than just chewing it alone alone the garlic. So that's those are the kind of food that also help to unclog arteries. I have some of the videos. I might not be able to say all of them in this live video, but I'm going to link the videos of unclogging arteries on the description box. Go check them out and watch the video so that you will know the kind of food I was, the kind of food I combined in those recipes to be able to make it for a for a drink or or the one you are going to be just be chewing and to unclog for you to be able to unclog your arteries. So thank you so much, everyone that have joined us in today's live stream. Like I said in my last last live stream, I will be trying as much as I, as I can to be doing live stream, you know, maybe every weekend if I have the time. Like today, I was, I was somewhere in a birthday party. In a birthday party, I have to rush out from there and I come and to, for, for me to be able to do this live video because I have already posted on my community tab that I will be coming live this evening. So that's what that's something I think I can be doing if time permits me, if I have the chance, if God says, yes, you are healthy to do this, you're strong, you know, or I have, to, I have the chance to do it. I will be coming live every weekend, probably Saturdays or Sundays to come and talk with you. If you have any question that you want me to speak about, or if you have a topic you want me to discuss, please leave them on the comment section so that I, so that I know the kind of things you want us to be discussing on our live stream. And I will be posting the live stream on my community tab so that you'll be aware of it before the time I'm going to be coming live. Please comment and let me know what you want me to be talking about on the live stream. So thank you so much. I'm waiting on your comment. Any comment that has many likes or about the topic that has many likes may be the one I will be talking about next weekend. Thank you so much for everyone that have joined. Thank you so much, my Iru. Good evening, my lady. Thank you so much. And good evening to you too. Good evening to you too. I don't know where you're watching me from anyway. If it is evening, afternoon, night, I don't know. Thank you, warning a goal. I'm doing garlic. Garlic is something, somebody asked a question, how long he, he, he should be taking the garlic. Garlic is something that you do. Maybe the way I do my own is maybe I will do it I'll be taking the garlic maybe for one week. After one week, I stop. I give my body chance because garlic is acidic. It's very hot. It's, 
is harsh. So you don't have to be taking this every day of your life. You you take like one week, you give your body space of life, like, like say one week again before you come back to it again. At least taking it for that one week, you have benefited a lot for that time that you're not going to be taking and your body will also adjust and be ready for the next time you're going to start taking it. Okay, thank you so much. Mairu, you're from Austria. Thank you so much. You're my neighbor. You're close to me. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to you from Germany. Thank you so much. Jenaya. Jenaya. Thank, so sorry if I butcher your name, please. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much, Grace from Swaziland. I appreciate you all for joining us in today's live. Like I said, drop your comment on the comment section. Let me know the topic you want us to discuss next Sunday so that I will come up with that discussion, that topic, and we are going to talk about that. And I thank you so much once again, and I will see you very soon. Very soon. I said very soon. You will be seeing me, maybe my video tomorrow. There will be a video coming up tomorrow or next tomorrow, probably tomorrow. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. And I love you all. I love you all for joining us in today's video. Bye-bye.